All right, so here we are. We're in Portal 2 VR, and you can see that we can look around in, in virtual reality and just uh, using kind of a natural um, head movement. And uh, now what we've added is your own personal avatar here. So now we're Chell inside of Portal 2, and I have hands and a portal gun that I can manipulate uh, with six degrees of freedom. So um, I can navigate using traditional controls using the joystick over here. I can also turn my body, and I will turn my forward direction as well. Um, so with the, the extra in, uh, range of motion that you have with adding motion controls here, now I can just kind of look over my shoulder, fire portals, without really thinking about um, what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not thinking about input so much anymore as I am just kind of naturally doing what feels um, intuitive. So here I have, I'm, this is a, a feature that we've added to Portal 2. We call this one-to-one, -one, where I uh, am manipulating this cube with uh, the orientation of the controller, which affects the object's orientation, and then the position of the controller, which affects the position. So the, we've built a bunch of puzzles around just this mechanic alone. Um, a simple one is just reaching across a gap and dropping it onto a button so you can uh, get across this bridge. Um, another fun thing to do inside of virtual reality is it's just, I mean, just a simple act of falling. I mean, you really feel like you're in here, in this world. And so when you're falling, you get the sen same sensations as you are really falling. Um, so again, since we don't have any line of sight requirements, um, it's really uh, a fantastic experience in terms of like calibration. Like again, I can turn all the way around and nothing's gonna interfere with the uh, input of the controller at all. We can kind of do little things like this. Um, and then we're gonna be adding more interactions where you can just reach out press buttons kind of intuitive. You can imagine uh, other games where you would, maybe that's a light switch, you just need to reach over and flip on a light. Where typically you might get a button prompt, like hey, press B to turn on the light. But now you can just reach out and kind of do what's intuitive and just flip the switch. So again, with this type of precision, you can reach out and really direct the laser right exactly where you want it. So this is a, you know, a typical item in, in the Portal 2 universe, this lens cube, but you're, you're bound to its axes are pretty much like this. You know, you can turn your body and aim the laser. So now you've got full six degrees of freedom. It's pretty neat. Um, one thing I guess is neat, since I can, I have this range, I can just let go of this object mid, mid uh, swing and actually I can throw the object. And then uh, another feature we added to Portal is um, the concept of what we call portal surfing. And basically in portal, if you fire a portal there and it's in the wrong spot or the wrong orientation, you have to refire. You just kind of get it in the right spot. So like here, if it's at an angle, it might be the wrong angle, so you can do that. Well, now you can just reach out and grab it and you can rotate it. Right, so uh, the reason we call it portal surfing is because we can actually get in here and feel like you're kind of surfing around. Uh, all right, we have a couple other features too that we're not showing here. Uh, one we have is a scaling feature where you kind of can reach out and you can grab a cube and you can change its size and manipulate how. Um, so you could basically imagine you have a button here and a button here. You could put the cube on both. Um, so again, this is just super immersive. And when you look down and see yourself in the world, it's, it's very compelling. And now that you've had all this movement, you just, you know, it's just going to get better and better at this point. Okay, so that's about my whole... Oh, yeah, right. So um, we're showing two controllers here, one for each hand. But we also added a, th a third tracker for your head. Now, th the reason we added this is because now um, we have um, position tracking on the head. So if I kind of use this frame of reference here, you can see that now if I lean, right, I'm getting some head movements. And um, I can crouch, right? So just kind of naturally do things... Um, in game as you would in real life and uh, they get translated right into the virtual world.